has been brought to my attention that there are people that say that I am for the Nazis or I'm for what Hitler did or, or whatever else. I um, want to clarify some points on that. There's a lot of slander out there, things people say against me and very ridiculous things and whatever else. And um, so I'm going to answer that in this video. Um, <clears throat> Hitler was a hypocrite when it came to how he handled the Jewish situation. Um, I'm going to put a thing up on screen here about this, um, where the Nazis, they came out how they determined who's of Aryan, you know, pure German blood versus, uh, you know, the Jews, the Juden. And um, they had this thing of, if you are mingled, then you are Mischling. And Mischling are German citizens. And according to one video I saw, there were actually somewhere around 150,000 um, Mischling, mingled half Jew, half German, or at least partial Jew slash German soldiers in the Nazi army. Um, and what was the problem? But if you're a pure Jew, you know, you can be mixed, mingled, and that's fine. You're considered German, uh, not as high blood or high birth as pure German, but it's okay if you're mixed. Um, and we have to go after these pure Jews, the ones that don't have any German blood in them. Uh, well, why? Well, because we don't want them mixing with the German people. We don't want to uh, dilute the Aryan blood. But you're using the ones that are already mingled to be in your military. <laughs> uh, that's rather stupid. Okay, if, if the Nazis were real, they would have said, okay, let's get rid of the Jews, let's kick them out of the country, and we'll destroy the mingled seed. That's not what they did. And I'm not saying to do that. I'm not saying that I'm for that. I'm saying if they were true to their, you know, Aryan blood line type of thing, that's what they would have done. They would have destroyed the mingled and preserved the pure. Um, see, biblical segregation is a teaching that God separated. God says, okay, Japheth and your descendants, you go that way. Ham, your descendants, you go that way. Shem, your descendants, you and your descendants go that way. That's what the Bible teaches. Uh, the Lord does not want all people coming together. That's a new world order. It's, it's destruction of culture. God wanted different cultures, different races, ethnicities of people. God's the one who created it. Unless you believe that the whole confounding of their languages was of the devil or something. Um, it wasn't. God did it. And that's what I teach. Um, I do not teach that people that are of mingled seed should be rounded up, put in extermination camps and killed or anything. The Bible doesn't teach that either. Okay, there was back in the book of Ezra and Nehemiah, they did put away their, their strange wives and the children that were born to them. That was done in the Old Testament. Is it ever done in the New Testament? No, it's not. Okay, I'm just simply saying uh, that there should be a thing there of preserving your um, ethnicity because I do believe it matters to God. Because when you don't and everybody starts coming together and everybody starts to say, hey, you know, let's, let's just uh, all be one now. That's a problem, okay? So to compare me to, to the Nazi movement or something like this, um, well, you know, you said some things. Let me explain. Um, what I was saying in another one of my videos where I talked about what Hitler did or whatever, um, I was simply saying, if people don't want to leave, if the Jews don't want to leave a nation and they refuse to leave a nation and the pagan people rise up and start putting them to death, well, that's, you know, God's way of saying to them, you need to go back to your land. Again, I'm not saying that I would have been part of the Nazi movement. I'm saying that's how God controls things. Even uh, the one Jewish rabbi, which I disagree with very fervently, Rabbi Mordecai Kraft, he even said that. He even said about the Satan, you know, their word for the way they say Satan. But the Satan is, uh, he indwells different people like he did with Hitler because the Jews were being bad. The Jews were intermarrying, his words, not mine, and um, they were mixing and they were starting to lose their culture, starting to lose their identity. Uh, they weren't speaking Hebrew anymore, they were speaking German and other languages like that. 
And the Jewish people, above all else, they're supposed to be separate. So again, if I say, uh, you know, God raised up Hitler to drive the Jews out of Germany, or something like that, uh, that doesn't mean I'm for Hitler. That doesn't mean I would have done that myself. There are better ways to handle things like that. Um, but you know, people that want to tear down this ministry, they get all twisted around and mixed up in the head. Um, whatever it takes to lie, you know, about me. But, um, and you know, you need to be real careful about that because it's, it's not about, you know, I'm a man of God and you don't speak against the man of God because there's a special magical power on me or something. That isn't it. It's called bearing false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Uh, you're not supposed to lie. And there's a lot of people that do lie about me and uh, come out with a lot of stuff against me. So to just make it very clear one more time here, um, the issue with Nazi Germany, where they were very wrong, is they had it in for the Jews. Um, and they overlooked the thing of the mingled half Jew, half German, or part Jew, you know, one quarter Jew, three quarter German or something. Oh, they're fine. And they even used um, a, uh, a number of these Jewish, German, you know, mingled people. They even used them as kind of role models for other Germans. You know, that these guys are great people and whatever else. And I look at that and I say, that's a shame that those Jews lost their identity. That's what I say. Um, I don't say that they should be rounded up and put to death. And, but see, it was the devil's design because the devil, um, he wants mingling. He doesn't want purity. And so, oh, the, the Germans are talking about all about this Aryan blood and, and whatever else. And then they turn right around and they have a bunch of mingled Jews not just as soldiers, but even as officers. There were a number of officers that were mingled Jews. Just so terrible uh, what all the devil has done. And I long for the day when we get to see the devil cast into the lake of fire. Um, just awful. You know, when you come out here in nature, you see God's hand of how he created things. And you don't crossbreed stuff out here. God has uh, purity. He has segregation in nature. You don't see birds intermarrying with other birds. Um, it's not that one bird is superior to the other. It's that they're different. That's what diversity means. Okay, Diverse types of birds. Diverse types of trees. Diverse types of animals. Mushrooms. Whatever. That's what makes the world interesting. So you say, well, let's just take it and just blur it all and blend it all. Uh, that's what they tried to do at the Tower of Babel and God stopped it. And the Nazi party, uh, they weren't about uh, purifying the German bloodlines. They were saving the Michelin, the mingled peoples, and putting them into positions of power and persecuting the pure Jews. That's why it was an evil system. And uh, that's why God stopped it. And uh, Hitler's now frying in hell, along with all the other high command of the Nazis. Good riddance. <laughs> so, hopefully that explains things, and um, that will be it. Thank you for watching.